Well, for the last six months before this tour started, we were writing the album, recording it, chilling out at home, having a sweet summer, getting married. That was pretty cool. We started writing the album, the new album, at the start of 2009. We stayed at a family beach house out in Raglan, just in New Zealand. Dave and Ken, they, they wrote a few songs here and there, and then brought them to the band, and we jammed them out, changed things around. So we decided on uh, making an album with the whole theme of love. Came down to 10 songs that we were really happy with. So we, we went into the studio with, uh, with Hook. <laughs> Couple of drum kits, had a whole lot of snare drums, and um, each song we'd, we'd do like two or three songs a day, and um, pick out the best ones for each one. Flight of the Concords. Now New Zealand power pop sensations, all left out, are ready to conquer the airwaves. Whoa! Ken does all the driving, which is a pretty big thing. I'm the kind of person that likes to just chill out by myself um, a lot of the time, and so I get to do that while I'm driving because it's nice and quiet. I can do what I want, eat trail mix. The problem with eating trail mix when you're driving is that it's dark and sometimes you miss your mouth. I love that Ken drives everywhere. Uh, so far we haven't died and as long as we continue to not die, I will support this driving. Hello. In a van with seven people. It is pretty pretty crowded, but it rules at the same time. It's like a big happy family. Except sometimes it's not always happy. It's hard living with a group of people when you can't get away from them, but um, it's definitely going a lot better than I expected. 
Hello and welcome to the All Left Out House on Wheels. Um, plenty of seats to sit on. Kind of like this. Ken's water bottle. He loves to drink while he drives. Not recommended, but um, there it is. He's a big guy. Storage for the important stuff. Oh, bit of storage there. Got a, a whiteboard. It says redo album. Last one was a complete shock of an album, so redo that. Got a light for um, those dark moments. This is my bed. It's a double. Kind of Superman style. Got to just. Got to shut the curtains for those moments. There we go. Quite easy. Where Nathan sleeps. Um, he's a big fan of the leopard print and he also likes New Zealand. Abraham Lincoln. What do you have to say for yourself, Abraham? Oh, you know, just enjoy America and just, you know, that sort of thing. Thanks, I'll, I'll do that, Abraham, through this little hole. This is Dave's room. I don't get to look in here often, but I'll just have a little look. It's pretty much the van. Yep. It's the van. This is the bar where we store everything important and valuable and wonderful. This is Ken's shop. He has the least amount of stuff out of everybody. He has uh, one change of clothes, which he's currently wearing, so plenty of room for him. This is Dave, with all my stuff. Fridge. Who knows what to be in this fridge. Quite a healthy living diet. We've got some eggs. Cool. Got some limes. It's a lime. Pretty much how we live, that's how we roll. The Seattle show was awesome. Um, we met the guy, um, this guy Greg, who promoted the show. This is my new best friends, all the way from New Zealand. Uh, yes, Greg has. Uh, he curses like a sailor, you might say. He cursed the blue streak that night. Had an awesome uh, experience on another man's shoulders. There's this guy in the audience who kind of looked, the guy, looked like the guy off Rock of Love. And I don't know how or why, but he managed to pick up Yona on his shoulders and he just, just carried him around. Carried him around and uh, I think it got a little bit awkward. So this is what they meant when they said it would be easy. There's something on my mind that I'm trying to find out me. We'll see how far I can when I'm making my own decision. have any more or less love for other men than before I did. I went for a ride on his shoulders. <laughs> um.